This is that magical week when you realize it's 7 p.m. and it's still light out. We jumped forward this past weekend, so let's find out five things you didn't know about daylight saving time. Most people love the extra sunlight in the evenings that daylight saving time provides. And if you thought it was done so farmers could have an extra hour for harvest, you'd be wrong. So let's gear up and find out five things you didn't know about daylight saving. The first thing you didn't know about daylight saving time, it was all about bugs. An entomologist named George Vernon Hudson was one of the first to seriously push this. He was frustrated by how early the sun set during the summer months, which cut short his bug hunting. He thought springing the clocks forward would allow more daylight for bug collecting. The clocks could then be switched back in the winter when it was too cold. It wasn't until 1916 when daylight saving time was actually first practiced. Germany, Austria, and Hungary used it to conserve coal during wartime. Studies have shown that in current times, DST saves enough energy to run about 100,000 households for one year. The third thing you didn't know about daylight saving time, the time change happens at 2 a.m. for a reason. By waiting until 2 in the morning to give or take an hour, the idea is that most workers with early shifts will still be in bed and most bars and restaurants will already be closed. When losing that hour of sleep when we spring forward, be careful on your commute because there's a 17% average spike in car accidents the Monday after we move the clocks. Speaking of commutes, starting at 2 a.m., Amtrak will shorten stops where possible because trains can't magically jump down the track to make up for the lost hour, so don't be late. Rise and shine with five things you didn't know about daylight saving time.